Awesome. Let's start. Great. Um, hello and a very warm welcome to everyone joining us today. Um, uh, recently, so this is the third webinar in our uh, recent series of webinars. Uh, I'm Vidit, a co-founder at Channelize.io, and it's fantastic to see many of you here today uh, for our webinar, ready to dive into the world of live shopping and shoppable videos. Um, we're here today to ensure that you're armed with strategies that will set you apart this holiday season and power your growth. I hope BFCM was amazing for, for all of you, uh, all the merchants, all the e-commerce uh, uh, e-commerce owners and uh, marketing managers who are watching this webinar today. So many of you might be regular attendees of our webinars and we promise that each, each webinar of ours has unique insights. And that is basically how we choose topics for our webinars. So that every time there, there are new insights, new strategies uh, that we share with you, which you implement into your e-commerce and video commerce uh, uh, initiatives. So uh, I have with me my colleagues, Namit and Alan. Um, by powering video commerce for 800 plus e-commerce brands globally and helping them generate millions of dollars in sales, me, Namit and Alan, we're all here to share our expertise with you uh, today. And we've, and, and we, we've also shared a lot of our expertise with you through our other webinars and continue doing that through our blog, our LinkedIn company page as well. Um, so over to my colleague, Namneet, to introduce herself. Thanks, Vidit. Hi, everyone. I'm Namneet, content strategy expert at channelize.io. With years of experience in creating content strategies for live shopping shows, I have helped a number of brands turn their shopping shows into memorable, engaging shopping experiences that lead to profitable outcomes. It's my passion to share knowledge that helps brands like yours to create memorable live shopping experiences. I have created a lot of content on such topics, and today I'm really excited to share all these insights and strategies with all of you. Over to you, Alan. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Alan. I'm also part of the marketing team here at uh, Channelize.io and as well as the customer success team at Channelize.io. Uh, over the years, I've had the pleasure of extensively understanding and working on market trends and buyer behaviors in the live shopping and video commerce arena. So I try to bring to you the latest and most effective live shopping strategies through to various e-commerce brands through various mediums such as our newsletter, our LinkedIn posts, and our company pages on the website, as well as on various social media platforms. And yeah, I'm thrilled to be here to be a part of this discussion. I'm really looking forward to it. Amazing. Um, thank you, Nonit and Alan. So everyone, before we move on, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, or if, if you missed our previous webinars, do check out our YouTube channel. We post all our previous, we posted all our previous webinars over there. And we've also covered a range of topics on our YouTube channel that help escalate your e-commerce sales with live shopping. So uh, the link for our YouTube channel is, uh, you, you'd be seeing that uh, below the webinar. And also over there, you would be seeing the link of our LinkedIn company page ensure that you click over there and follow us on our LinkedIn company page as well. We regularly post updates over there, not, a, not just updates about our product, but we also share a lot of live shopping strategies and share uh, snippets of our customers' shopping shows that would act as very good inspirations for you. So let's get to the agenda now. Yeah, yeah, thanks for it. Uh, so yeah, we've put together this webinar because we know that uh, the holiday season is actually the peak season for e-commerce sales. And just like any other major event, this also requires the right strategy for you to win. Uh, we've got a packed schedule ahead of us, so let's quickly look at what we'll be discussing today. Uh, point number one is that we'll be discussing the importance of holiday sales. I mean, I'm sure all of you know how important the BFCM, the holiday sales are for e-commerce brands. So we'll just share with you some compelling statistics that highlight why this season is actually a goldmine for e-commerce businesses. Um, point number two, we'll be sharing some 
uh, BFCM success stories that we've just observed last week. We'll share some effective strategies and how brands were able to achieve remarkable results in their BFCM live shopping shows that they recently held. Uh, point number three is actually the gist of what we, why, why we're all gathered here today. We'll be discussing the four strategies uh, that'll help you uh, achieve unmeasurable success throughout your uh, holiday season live shopping shows. Each of these strategies that we'll be discussing is loaded with practical steps and actionable insights, ensuring that you can apply whatever you learn directly to your uh, marketing campaigns. These strategies that we'll be discussing, they are not just theories, you know, they are backed up by proven results and have been the cornerstone of success for many e-commerce brands that we have observed previously in the holiday season. Um, right, uh, uh, a lot of benefits uh, of live shopping for your holiday sales will be cleared uh, to you. So, um, yeah, Namit, uh, over to you for the next, uh, next section. Yes, thanks for it. Let's talk about why holiday sales are absolutely important for e-commerce. Historically, we all have seen online shopping surge during the holiday season. For example, in the years leading up to 2023, online sales during BFCM weekend have grown consistently, contributing to a significant portion of annual retail sales. Last year, reports indicated a significant surge in e-commerce activity. Online sales during the holiday season saw a remarkable 30% increase as compared to 2021. Now let's quickly talk about consumer behavior trends and see some statistics. As for consumer behavior, the trend is crystal clear. Shoppers are not just buying gifts, they are seeking experiences. Live shopping has emerged as a powerful way to fulfill this desire. In a recent study, about 60% of consumers said they attended a live shopping show during the holidays and the number is only expected to rise. I think, I think this, this statistic in particular is very important. Uh, it shows a clear change in buyer behavior. Buyers are, are actually demanding better product experiences. They are watching live shopping shows. So if you as a brand also adopt live shopping shows, there are high chances your buyers will, uh, um, the, the, the buyer retention that you have on your store improves, your buyers will come repeatedly to your e-commerce store to purchase from your live shopping shows and ultimately they get much better product experiences that can help quicken their purchase decisions. So this, this here is a very important uh, statistic. 60% of consumers saying that they've attended a live shopping show during the holidays. Very right with it. It's a great number. Now let's go through some of the live shopping success metrics. Brands leveraging live shopping have seen on average a 35% higher conversion rate as compared to those using traditional online sales methods. Not to mention the average order value can spike up to 40% during the live shopping shows thanks to the real-time engagement and personalized recommendation. These statistics helps us visualize the importance of integrating live shopping into your holiday sales strategy. It's not about selling. Well, it's about connecting and creating moments that translate into long lasting relationship and of course, impressive sales figure. With these compelling statistics in mind, we are set to move forward. Over to you with it. Yeah, so um, I think looking at these statistics uh, and, and the options that we had in the previous poll, right? You would have got a clear idea of how live shopping, uh, live shopping helps increase increase not just your sales conversion rates but also helps boost your average order value great so we'll now cover some of the uh, live shopping triumphs of our customers during the bfcm uh, 2023 uh, that happened uh, just just a little more than a week back so bfcm was amazing for our client brands uh, who collectively did more than 600 plus live shopping shows uh, uh, during BFCM and the week leading to it. And all of this got them and more than $7 million in sales. Amazing numbers. We were, we were actually thrilled to see, see this figure increase day over day in the week preceding BFCM and over BFCM. So, So now let's take a moment to look at some incredible successes of our customers from the BFCM sales 
um, that concluded just last week. Um, these stories are are very inspiring, and they also offer valuable insights into the effectiveness of live shopping. So, uh, we one one of our customers is a leading uh, consumer electronics brand in the U.S. They generated net sales of dollar six hundred k plus from their BFCM shows, uh, and this. Uh, for, and they, they gather the total buyer audience of over 5,000 uh, with show duration of uh, five plus hours. Now, uh, in, in these shopping shows, in addition to multiple product demonstrations, they ran exclusive discounts and giveaways. Uh, these discounts and giveaways actually sparked immense interest amongst buyers. The second success story I would like to highlight is that of a Canadian clothing brand uh, from the fashion space uh, that generated 110 k dollars, upwards of 110 k dollars in sales from just two shows. Uh, one show was for BFCM, and there was one show leading uh, in the week leading to the BFCM. So they gathered a total buyer audience of over 4,500 with a total show duration of two and a half hours. And their live shopping shows were a mix of engaging content and promotions. So um, they, they had amazing engage, engaging content in that show where they had models who were trying out the products that were lined up to be promoted. Um, there, were, there were promotions during the show like huge discounts and giveaways and they were sharing free they were sharing styling tips one one very important um, one very attractive offer that they had was free shipping so again in their live shopping shows the mix of engaging content with styling tips and promotions with free shipping huge discounts and giveaways all of these led to amazing success the next one um, I would like to cover is that of one of our customers uh, that's a skincare and beauty brand. So they're a German skincare brand and they generated 80k plus euros in sales from two live shopping shows for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So they gathered the total buyer audience of 3500 plus and their shopping shows were amazingly interactive. They actually invited a skincare expert and influencer to co-host their live shopping show. And the presence of the influencer in that show increased, influencer as a co-host in that show increased overall engagement in that show. And the presence of the celebrated influencer also led to very good buyer trust in the products that were promoted. So, um, if, if any, any, any of the attendees in this webinar would like to know more details about how, uh, about the successes that our customers achieved during BFCM, please book a meeting with us. We'll be happy to share more details with you. Great. Um, now, uh, since, since many of you are already harnessing the power of video commerce, which includes live shopping and shoppable videos, um, I'll, I'll keep the introduction to video commerce very succinct. So in simple terms, live shopping is actually the digital equivalent of physical in real life uh, shopping experiences. So live shopping gives your buyers that same personal touch, that same interactivity and engagement online. Right? So the experiences in live shopping shows are centered around the live stream video content where buyer audiences can make purchases of the products that are promoted in real time. So, and then along with live shopping, uh, we have shoppable videos. Right? So this, this was live shopping. It's the digital equivalent of physical in real life shopping. It offers a high personal touch, high audience engagement and interaction. Buyers can ask questions that can be answered right there by your host and your moderators and buyers can directly make purchases right there during the shopping show. Then the second uh, type of video commerce offering is shoppable videos. Shoppable videos are actually short form, pre-recorded videos that many brands regularly create for their social, social media marketing initiatives over Instagram, TikTok, et cetera. 
So Shoppable Videos allows you to repurpose those short form videos within your e-commerce store and provide amazing product experiences to buyers, right? In right within those shoppable videos, your buyers can click and buy products, uh, thus merging uh, merge, merging that immersive video content with commerce. So um, there, there are many advantages uh, to uh, video commerce. Increased sales and conversions because buyer decisions are accelerated and through the combination of real-time product experience Second, enhanced product experience. So you as a brand are able to deliver product information to buyers visually and audibly, uh, which, which makes the benefits of your products very clear to buyers. Plus you can demonstrate your products in real time and ultimately all of this helps you gain amaz amazing customer mind share. Uh, the, the last benefit is that of uh, buyer engagement. You get to engage your buyers with uh, content around your products. Ultimately, all of this provides differentiated shopping experience to customers and ensures repeat visits with the with a high touch point engagement that you're able to offer to your buyers. Great. Now on to uh, the most important part of our webinar today. So um, we're here to. We're primarily here today to share with you four essential strategies to maximize your holiday sales. So uh, let's let's dive into these four strategies. Uh, these strategies span across marketing and promoting of your shopping shows, deals, discounts, and offers that you can uh, provide in your shopping shows. We'll cover about the power of simulcasting of your shopping shows, and then. Uh, the fourth strategy will primarily, primarily be about activities that you can do post your live shopping shows. So let's dive into our first strategy um, right away. Great. So um, the first strategy is all about marketing and promoting your shopping shows. So. As we all know, the key to a successful live shopping show is not just what happens during that shopping show. So you can have an amazing host in your shopping show. You can choose the right products, have the right strategy, but for, the, for, for you to achieve the desired success from your live shopping shows, it is very important that you promote your live shopping shows very well in advance of that show going live, especially during the holiday season. So the first thing um, the first thing you should do is uh, plan your shopping shows well. So it's crucial to plan your shopping shows well in advance. It allows you, it gives you ample time for promoting your shopping shows. And with that good promotion of your shopping shows, it ensures that your audience, your target buyers are well aware about about you going live with your shopping show. And this this promotion of your shopping show in advance of it going live creates a buzz uh, about your shopping show and in, in case of your holidays in case of the holiday season this buzz can be like a grand holiday party and which means the more anticipation you build about your shopping shows amongst your buyers the more buyer watchers the more guests you'll have in that shopping show <coughs> next is a uh, multi-channel so Within all the four strategies that we'll share with you, there will be sub strategies. So here uh, we are sharing with you sub strategies for marketing and promotions of your shopping shows. So this next one is about multi-channel marketing. Um, so we, so uh, we, we cannot overemphasize the importance of leveraging all your, all your marketing channels for promotion of your shopping shows. So it's important that you utilize your social media handles, your email newsletters, and uh, your website very well for promotion of your uh, upcoming live shopping shows. So you can add a banner on your homepage, add an announcement bar uh, in the header, and at channelize.io, we give you everything that is needed to promote your shopping show as well. So every shopping show that you will create on your e-commerce store using our platform will have, its, will have a unique link. 
So using this unique link of your upcoming shopping shoe, you can market your show extensively on all your marketing channels like your Instagram stories, your Facebook page, email newsletters, homepage banners, etc. The next is influencer collaborations and the co-hosting feature. So um, this this is a very powerful tactic in the in in your in uh, for the promotion of your shopping shows. So if you collaborate with an you you can collaborate with an influencer or an industry expert for some of your shopping shows and their endorsement can not only lend credibility to your shopping shows but that can also help you tap into the followers of that influencer that you co-host your shopping shows with thus expanding reach of your shopping shows so you can have this influencer market your shopping show amongst their followers as well again at channelize.io we facilitate this also very well with our co-host feature which allows you allows your brand to easily include influencers and industry experts in your live shopping events. Just as an example, if you're a skincare brand, you can leverage our co-hosting feature by inviting a well-known skincare influencer or a dermatologist to co-host a live, live session with you. So just imagine your followers plus your influencer followers collectively watching a shopping show. <coughs> Great. The next strategy is that of email and SMS notifications. Our email and SMS notifications feature integrated with Clavio allows you to send targeted emails, email notifications to all those buyers who have chosen to be registered for your shopping show. This here is an excellent way to keep your buyer audiences informed and excited about your upcoming event. Thus, you can turn all the registrations that you get in advance for your shopping shows into into active viewership of your shopping show. Last is thematic planning. So what you're doing, the, the shopping shows that you would be doing for the holiday season will be for the holiday season, right? So uh, if you're able to somehow theme your shopping shows around the concept of, of holiday season by having props in the shopping show, it'll, it'll actually elevate the entire live shopping experience for your buyers. Great. Um, with that, I'll ask Alan uh, to talk about the next set of strategies. Over to you, Alan. Yeah, thanks. Thanks with it. Uh, we've actually got a comment from Maya saying that uh, our feed isn't very good, like the live streaming keeps on cutting out. And then, uh, so Maya and everyone else, can you please confirm if you are having a good signal over here? If if you also are experiencing bad connectivity from our end, you can be assured that we'll be sharing a copy of this webinar later on with you in directly into your inboxes. So uh, you don't need to really worry about if uh, the connect uh, if our internet connection is a little choppy at the moment. Um, yeah. So let's move on to our second strategy. Uh, which is all about leveraging the power of offers during your live shopping shows. Uh, obviously, it is important to realize that the holiday season is prime time for shoppers looking for the best deals, especially those who are hunting for Christmas and New Year gifts, right? Uh, <clears throat> so number one, it is very important for e-commerce brands to realize the power of offers. The entire driving force behind shopping is often the allure or the appeal of special offers and discounts. Shoppers are actually on the lookout for unique deals that they can't find other times of the year. This is where your e-commerce brand can truly shine by capitalizing on this particular mindset. Um, with Channelize or IO's seamless integration with your underlying e-commerce pl platform, whether it is on Shopify or WooCommerce or any other platform, all of your promotional methods of your e-commerce platform will work really well in your live shopping shows as well. Uh, point number two is uh, exclusive live show offers. Uh, <clears throat> one effective tactic is to provide exclusive discounts and offers that are only available during your live shopping shows. This sort of creates an urgency and exclusivity, encouraging your buyers not just watch, but actively engage and make purchases during those particular live shows. So a couple of things that you could probably attempt to do during your live shopping shows is you can probably create a limited period discount code and share it with your buyers through the chat in your shows as a highlighted pinned message through channelize.io live shopping platform. We enable you to do that. 
Number two, what you can probably do is offer a complimentary gift for all of your orders placed during your live shopping shows. And you can obviously experiment with your strategies with the kind of offers that you want to present in your shopping shows. But it is very crucial that you plan these strategically. Uh, point number three, it is all about bundled product ideas. Uh, it is very important to realize that many of the many of your potential shoppers are actually shopping for gifts. So if you can consider creating bundled product offers, for example, uh, I'll give you an example. In the case of a skincare brand, this could be a holiday themed skincare set and it could combine probably a moisturizer, a serum or a cleanser. And for the case of a fashion brand, this could be a stylish sweater, scarf and a be beanie. If all of these products are offered as a bundled product offered at a slight discount, this will really engage the buyers and tempt them to make the purchase. Right. These curated bundles not only offer value, but also make the gift selection process a lot easier for your buyers. Uh, number three, it is very important that you capitalize on number four. Sorry. Uh, it is very important that you capitalize on the buyer's stock up mentality. Apart from buying presents for their loved ones and for their relatives, for their friends and family, they're also looking for uh, the your shoppers also have a tendency to stock up on essentials for the coming year. During this season, people are not just looking for buying gifts, but also to seize the opportunity to buy their favorite products in larger quantities. Often, these are available at prices that are not really available during the other times of the uh, In the case, for example, uh, if you have a fitness enthusiast, they might be eyeing for a holiday sales to buy protein bars in bulk. Right. Imagine a pack of 20 protein bars, which are typically purchased individually. But during these holiday sales, they are able to find this at a discounted, slightly discounted price, but in a bundled product manner. Right. So it would be really engaging, really tempting for that particular fit fitness enthusiast to make that purchase. Similarly, in the case of a skincare brand, they could offer a large size version of their most popular moisturizers at special holiday prices. So if you are available, if you are actually uh, able to make such kind of offers uh, during your uh, shopping shows, which are generally not available year around. Uh, this is this could be really tempting for the buyers to make those purchases. Uh, these these are these particular are very appealing to customers who are not only looking to save on immediate purchase, but to plan and prepare for their future needs as well. Uh, then we've got the final point in deals, discounts, and offers, which is the role of the host. The role of the host is particularly important here. An engaging host is going to be your key to encourage your shoppers or your buyers who have attended your shopping shows to nudge them to actually comp uh, complete their uh, in-cut uh, transactions. They can build excitement around the offers, interact with the viewers and nudge them towards that critical decision point, which is to actually make the purchase. With Channelize.io, we allow you, the e-commerce brand, to see buyer actions of promoted products being added to cart. Uh, the your host can potentially verbally excite and nudge your uh, buyers to complete their orders, right? So to wrap this section up, I would just say that your holiday sales strategy should focus on creating compelling offers, creating exclusive deals that are specific to that particular live shopping show. Uh, you can probably experiment with uh, making a bundled products approach for your shopping shows and obviously focus on creating a compelling narrative, a compelling uh, story, a compelling, compelling narrative for your host as well, who can convert the interest of your uh, shoppers or your buyer audiences into sales. Master these and you'll see a remarkable success on your engagement and sales figures during this holiday season. Uh, yeah, so I think with that, we'll move on to the third strategy, which is simulcasting. And I'll ask them so to... Yeah. One thing I, I wanted to add, so you would have noticed that while the first set of strategies that we shared with you are things to be taken care of before your shopping show goes live, as in marketing of your shopping show, etc. The second set of strategies that we've shared with you are, 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 are about things that you should take care of for the content of your live shopping show, which includes offers um, uh, that you can you can have on uh, 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 in place during your live shopping show to get good sales, uh, bundling of products, um, right? Uh, playing with the psychology of your buyers, right? By offering, um, by offering bundle products, getting them to stock up your products for the upcoming year, upcoming new year, and and ultimately getting getting your host 
uh, uh, the, the role of, of a host in a live shopping show is very crucial. The right host can actually make or break a live. Uh, the, the, the host can actually make or break a, a live shopping show. If you have a host who, who talks in an exciting manner, they'll be able to engage your buyers and push your buyers, nudge your buyers towards placing their order from your live shopping show. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Manu. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Vidit and Ellen. Since we now know the importance of offering, since we now know the importance of offers, deals, and discounts for elevating live shopping shows, now let's dive into our third strategy that is simulcasting. In simple terms, simulcasting or multi streaming means broadcasting your website's live shopping shows simultaneously across multiple platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and many more. Often the power of simulcasting is overlooked by e-commerce brand, but it's a feature that can significantly expand your reach. By simulcasting, you are not just confined to a single platform, you are meeting your buyers where they already are on their favorite social media channels. This is a, such a powerful way to get your social media followers to be notified about your live shopping shows and to get them to shop from you. Such a useful feature. Now let's quickly look at the benefits of multi-platform presence. This approach leverages diverse user bases of different social media platforms. It's about bringing your brand's live shopping experience to a broader yet targeted audience. Simulcasting is extremely useful to get traffic and more buyer audiences to shopping shows from the brand's social media handles. Social media channels, be it Instagram or any other social media platform, automatically alerts your followers whenever your account goes live. This is such a fantastic way to draw immediate attention to your shopping shows amongst your followers, thus bringing more eyeballs and potential consumers to your live shopping shows. Now let's see how simulcasting helps in cross-platform engagement. While all of these social media platforms are great for capturing audience attention, the complete shopping experience, especially the purchasing part, is best hosted on your primary sales channel like your website, your app, or your e-commerce store where you have access to first party, first party buyer data, where you maintain your product information and inventory, and where you have invested in optimizing buyer experiences. It's crucial for the host to guide the audience for, from your simulcasting streams on social platforms to where they can engage and make purchases. Now let's finally talk about our last strategy under simulcasting, which is maximizing the reach. A strategic move here is to utilize your profiles across these platforms effectively. Ensure that links to your live shop or upcoming shows are predominantly displayed on your profile bios and live stream description. This practice makes it easier for your audiences to find and participate in your live shopping shows. Tools like Linktree are great for managing these links and enhancing user navigation. You can even link your Instagram stories to your live shopping shows. Now, to sum it up, do not underestimate the power of simulcasting. It is a strategy that, number one, brings your live shopping shows to your followers, and number two, multiplies your opportunities for engagement and sales. With that being said, I'll ask Vidit to lead us to the next section. Thanks, thanks, Naveed. So um, many, many of you here would have already invested a lot into getting a good number of followers on your social media handles. What simulcasting does is it helps you stream your live shopping shows happening on your e-commerce stores simultaneously to all your social media handles where you have followers. Your followers get notified that you have currently gone live and you can have your host nudge those buyers to follow the link in the description of those uh, live streams or on your Instagram bio to shop the products that are being promoted in your shopping show. Um, I hope many of you here have got the opportunity to use our simulcasting feature in your live shopping shows. If you haven't, and if you are on a, a plan of channelize.io that currently does not give you access to our simulcasting feature, please feel free to reach out to our sales team or, or uh, our account manager that you're working with to get to get a trial version of simulcasting enabled in your accounts, we'd be happy to get you to try out our simulcasting feature and we're sure you will love it. Great. Um, coming to the fourth 
fourth set of strategies. Um, great, the fourth set of strategies. So while, uh, while the first was about things to be done pre-show, the next two were about things to be done during your live show, our fourth set of strategies are about things uh, uh, things that you should do after your live shopping show has ended. So um, there are two things you can do primarily after your live shopping show has ended. First, look at your analytics. And second, do things that can help you squeeze more sales uh, from your live shopping shows, from your live shopping show. Great. Um, the analytics of your shopping show are where true insights about your shopping show lie. These analytics, so at channelize.io, we provide you detailed engagement analytics for your shopping shows as well as detailed commerce analytics. So both these analytics enable you to understand how your audience reacted to your shopping show, right? Um, so these post-show analytics offer you deep insights into consumer behavior during your shopping shows. You can see how many people watched your show, their interactions as in their comment, how, how many of them commented, how many of them reacted. You can also see analytics for activities like add to carts that happened, how many people clicked on the products that were being promoted to see their details. Ultimately, we also showed you how many orders were generated from every shopping show and the actual sales in dollars that were generated from every shopping show. Right? So use, use the engagement and commerce analytics very well to, sorry, use the engagement and commerce analytics very well to see the impact of your shopping show and accordingly evolve your strategy for your next shopping show. The second is a very important thing. Uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, you can use, you can do post-show activities to squeeze more sales out of your live shopping show. And a very big aspect of that is having an abandoned cart strategy in place. So the end of a live shopping show isn't the end of engagement of your buyers from that shopping show. So let's not forget that during the shopping show, there would be many buyers who would have added your product, promoted products to their carts during the live show, but did not go on further to complete their orders, right? Hence, there was a strong intent to purchase your products amongst those buyers, but the, the actual transaction for order placement did not happen. The good news is that you can still get these buyers to complete their orders for these abandoned cards by, by nudging them with abandoned card notifications. Uh, you can leverage email marketing platforms like Klaviyo to send abandoned card email notifications to your buyers after your live shopping shows. Great. The next thing that you should do after, after your live shopping shows ended uh, to squeeze out more sales and engagement from these shopping shows are email marketing of your past shopping shows. I'd mentioned earlier that every shopping show that you will create will have a unique link that you can use to market that shopping show. Right? So there are high chances, there, there, there are good chances rather that many potential buyers might have missed your live shopping show as they might be engaged somewhere else. You can still get them to shop from your shopping show with that unique URL of the shopping show. And just like, so just like how you marketed your upcoming live shopping show to get more buyer audiences, market your past shopping show over your email newsletters and social media handles and get more people to shop from your past shopping show. Now at channelize.io, our past shopping shows are also very engaging. In our past shopping shows, we actually play back the entire live experience to, to buyer watchers of your shopping show. Another thing that you can do is you can even extend your limited period discounts and promotions that you had otherwise set to be active only during the live show. You can extend these discounts and promotions if you feel these can help with more sales from your past shopping show. The next is feedback collection. Getting feedback from your buyers about your shopping show helps your buyers feel valued and heard and you don't know feedback collection from your buyers about your shopping show may actually give you very good gems 
uh, for your next shopping show. Great. So let's let's do a quick recap. Um, so we shared with you the first set of strategies, which were about marketing and promoting of your shopping shows, planning your shopping shows well, marketing them well, influencer collaborations with our co-hosting feature, if possible, email and SMS notifications to get more and more buyers to sign up and attend your show, and thematic planning of your shopping show around the holiday season. The next set of strategy was about was about deals, discounts, and offers. Uh, which can be so these can be limited period discounts or they can be giveaways bundle products um right not uh, creating products that can actually help uh, help you tap into buyer intention to stock up your products for the upcoming year and getting a host who can push your deals and your promotions towards your buyers motivating them inducing them to order your products then we shared with you about the power of simulcasting and the benefits that it offers you by tapping into your followers uh, to get them to watch your shopping show and shop from it. Okay. The last set of strategies was about post-show activities, analyzing the analytics that we provide, uh, sending abandoned cart notifications, email marketing of your past shows, and collecting feedback from your past shows. Finally, I hope the strategies that we have shared with you today are useful for you and help you get amazing sales and buyer engagement during the holiday season. I hope you gained some good ideas from this webinar today. The future of e-commerce is bright, uh, right? All of us are part of this amazing ecosystem around e-commerce. And with the continued rise of live shopping and shoppable videos, um, especially during the high stakes period, like the upcoming holiday season, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of success coming up for e-commerce. So these tools, uh, these tools, tools like ours are not just enhancing the shopping experience on your e-commerce store, but they're actually revolutionizing the way you connect with your customers, get them to experience your products and drive sales. So. A big thanks to uh, each one of you here to join us today. Um, and uh, yes, please feel free to book a meeting with us. And before we part ways, please consider following us on LinkedIn, YouTube, or Instagram for the latest tips on live shopping and video commerce trends. Um, for any any questions and further information, feel free to drop us an email at info@channelize.io. We're always there to help. Um, goodbye, everyone, till our next uh, webinar. Look forward to seeing you there for our next webinar as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank and you. have a great holiday season. Thank you. Bye.